Well, we step into hurricane season this year in the middle of a COVID-19 environment. That leaves some people rethinking their insurance needs and many may have questions. Egan Insurance Agency President Mark Egan joins us today to break down some of what you should be thinking about. Good morning. Good morning, how are you today? Oh, I'm all right, let's jump right in. You know, businesses of course had to close uh, for the COVID-19 pandemic. What exactly do they need to know or what should, they, what should they keep in mind, you know, with their insurance needs with that? Well, I think um, it should be business as usual regarding insurance. Um, you surely do not want to cancel or non-renew any of your policies right now uh, due to the fact that we are in hurricane um, season and uh, it looks like a very bad season above average storms we've already had a test run with a little tropical storm and we've seen a lot of water come in from that so um, it's surely not a time to um, lose or reduce coverages right now so when going over their policy what are some things that they need to keep in mind um, some of the things is to make sure you have adequate limits of coverage you have enough contents insurance, you have enough business interruption insurance in the event that uh, the building gets damaged by wind, um, and your flood insurance is up to date. Um, those are the main things. If you don't have flood insurance, it's gonna take 30 days to get flood insurance. So um, if you're gonna react on that, now's the time to do that for later in the summer. But all indications from the insurance industry that the storm's gonna be particularly bad this year and ourselves in Louisiana, low coastal Louisiana, Texas and Florida have the highest pr probabilities of being hit um, this year with the name storm. You, you kind of answered my question a little bit, but I mean, is it too late for someone to get flood insurance if they don't have that? It is not too late, but it does take a 30 day wait uh, period and it is readily available through FEMA, um, federal insurance uh, program, insurance program. So it's uh, something that if they don't have it, uh, they should have it because uh, we've seen time and time again that there's no such thing as not being in a flood zone. You, you're definitely in South Louisiana, you, you're exposed. When looking at uh, flood insurance policies, what are some things that people should uh, keep in mind, you know, trying to find the right policy for them? It's a, it's a standard policy through the federal government. Um, some of the issues on that is there, there's only so much limit that you can buy for a home and that's 250,000 on the dwelling and 100,000 on contents. Um, but you can play around with the deductibles a little bit if you feel like you're not as vulnerable and you haven't flooded, um, then you can raise the deductibles up and that really lowers the cost down quite a bit. But um, most of the forms and the coverages are all exactly the same. And I do think it's important to re-mention because we have mentioned it several times is that if you do get a flood insurance policy, it doesn't uh, become active right away. There is that 30 day wait period. So some people may not know that, but that is something that they need to keep in mind, right? That, that is correct. It does take 30 days. So now's the time to react. I mean, in the past history of the storms, uh, we've seen a lot of storms come in in August, uh, the September timetable really bad storms. Um, this year, they're all calling for a little bit earlier season. Um, as you've seen, we've already had this come in in, in er, beginning of June, which is kind of unusual. So uh, now would be the time to, to really lock that coverage in. It, it is affordable when you think about it. The federal government does um, subsidize a lot of that cost and um, it would be something definitely to take advantage of. Now, would flood zones impact the cost of flood insurance policies since a yes. bunch of people are in different flood zones? Most people are in different flood zones. Um, the majority of the flood zone is in A, A, A which is the lowest elevated uh, flood zone. That would be the highest cost um, for flood insurance, but it does definitely, even in, it goes A, B, or X, and C, C being the highest elevated. Um, but even C has seen his flooding damage today because of uh, various reasons. Right, just because you're in a good flood zone doesn't mean you can't flood. So flood insurance is important for everybody. That's correct. It really is. So what is a good resource for people in case they want to find more information or maybe read a little bit about this? Um, if they want to read more about it, the uh, Department of Insurance in Baton Rouge has a lot of information. Um, 
and they have uh, they have uh, tons of information on the flood. Also, you could go into the federal insurance program uh, website and you can read about the flood insurance. But in South Louisiana, we're all very, very vulnerable. Um, and there's no such thing as not being in a flood. I mean, you need to have flood insurance if you're living down here. You really do. Yeah, definitely some good advice there. Thank you so much, Mr. Egan, for joining us today. You're quite welcome. Thank you.